Welcome back to The Sim. In this video, we're going to cover adding the Real Sim Gear GMA 350 audio panel into SPAD.next. Let's jump in. When you first load up SPAD.next, every Real Sim Gear panel that you add has to be manually added into the system. To do this, you need to go to Settings, Devices, Serial Devices, and we're going to add a new device. Now, the best way to figure out which COM port it's going to be is, of course, to one, look at what you've already got. So here we know we've got COM5 and COM6 in use, but if we hit the start button and then start typing in DE for device manager, so start bringing up our device manager. And we'll just drag it over here. So in device manager, under your ports, you're gonna see all of your COM ports. Now, COM7, Real Sim Gear Serial, that's probably gonna be the one. Considering five, which is the Mega 2560, which is our Real Sim Gear GTN 750, COM6, which is an UNO, that's my one that's running SPAD software for my autopilot. And then there's an Arduino Leonardo, well, that's my GPS 530 running as a joystick device. Serial port 1 is the standard serial port that is built into the motherboard. All right, so COM7 is the one. So we come to serial devices, we're going to add a new device, we're going to click on the drop down and it lists the available comms. So COM7 is the unit. We're going to change to the real SIM gear protocol and all other settings are automatically configured for you. Now when you click OK, you don't see anything. Click away, click back, right? Now we've got it. But you still have to close down SPAD next and start it up again. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we're back in SPAD.next, we can go to settings, we can go to devices, we can go to the serial devices, and we can confirm that COM7, it's, it's set it up and it's set up for real SIM gear. So now when we go back to our panels, we can see that our GMA350 is now available to be programmed. That's all you have to do to get the GMA350 hooked up and running inside of SPAD.next. Of course, now we get to go through all of the configuration on how to set up your real SIM gear GMA350 panel to work with the devices. But we'll do that in the next video. As always, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along next time when we're going to start configuring the 350. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.